going on everybody? Gundam Flexing here. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the just completed M9 Gernsbach Commander Type Version 4 from Full Metal Panic. This is a 1 60th scale model, so if we were to convert it over to Gunpla, it'd be the same size as the traditional 1144 scale models. Now being up front, this kit is phenomenal. Not only is it crazy detailed, but you also have minimal stickers, and my favorite is it comes with a ton of weapon systems. So what you see on screen is his dagger and then his bullwhip. So what you don't see on screen is the broadsword right here, and this is a single piece that you cut straight from the runner. You also have an AK-47 looking type weapon system here as well. And this extra piece that's closest to the muzzle, this is just for the mount system. I will also love the hand in here as well. Uh, this comes in three pieces. Basically you have the muzzle, and then you have the system in the left and the right system, and you just slap them together. But this is more detailed than most of the other Gunpla, the same scale model that I've been building. Now what would be really cool is if this magazine clip at the front, like an AK-47, was detachable. Unfortunately it's not, but it's not a game killer. I just thought it'd be a cool feature. And the other long range weapon is his main assault rifle. Now this comes in four pieces. You have this piece right here which is basically his butt mount. And he has his handle up here. He also has a clip right here which again is not detachable. And the main body of the weapon system is left and right and just slapped together. And then you get the muzzles right here. That's it. But again this is crazy detailed too. This right here is the sticker sheet and of course, like I said, you get minimal stickers. The green one is pretty much for his uh, visor. The gray ones, can't remember why I put those, it's not really super important. But the yellow ones also go on his face as well and you could make it out by here and on the other side. So again, not that many stickers and from what I recall, it's not too difficult to put on. Now just like other Gunpla kits, this model does have a tremendous, tremendous amount of leftover pieces. You get the PC caps, and then you have about one, two, three, four. You have about four runners of random pieces here and there, and all of them. I don't find these pieces essential, and you don't really require them to, for any sort of like expansion pack that Bandai has been putting out. Now. The model you see on the screen, I want to take it off. Right there, and this is how it's mounted. You would need this piece right here with a single pillar to mount it. Now, let's look at his head. Again, his head is pretty cool. He has a shooting back horn right here. It's pretty slick there. And of course, the visor is green and it's just a sticker. Now what I sort of liked is the yellow. I think it's a good contrast on his face and for the overall design because it's primarily gray and a variety of gray beige. Uh, but unfortunately the, the stickers make it a little bit tacky. I wish it was sort of like a transparent piece in of itself. But there's nothing that prohibits his mobility. The color doesn't get in the way. His chest reminds me something around of the IBO series just because his, he has a broad chest and then a V tapered waist. Now looking at his arms he has like two shields if you will that are very mobile because they're on a ball joint right here. But what I don't like about this particular build, uh, the one thing that really stuck out to me was the way you would put his um, shoulders through his arms. So I'm going to take this guy apart so you know what I'm talking about. So his shoulder right here, the top portion, it's connected to the arm via a single PC piece right here and it goes through. And I'm going to take it apart and just show you what I mean. Because um, sometimes it, it is so easy for it to get removed right here. So this is his arm and this is the PC piece right here where the joint goes through and then you lock the joint in the piece itself and if you don't do it correctly it is going to be very loose and even if you were to put the shoulder on the main body if you press too hard at the wrong angle it will pop out and it's it's pretty annoying. 
but each arm has a compartment where you could put the bull whip so where the bull whip is on here on his other side of the arm it's basically a compartment you could take out the piece and then connect the bull whip but looking at this arm right here is serve as an example you're going to have to sort of dig your nails into it and then remove it and then that's how the bull whip is connected right in there and I'm going to put it back and on this arm he just wields the dagger and again the dagger is just like the broad uh, the broadsword this is a single piece you cut straight from the runner looking at his other arm of course this is the bull whip and it is on a wire uh, and you can bend the wire any way you like it's connected to the forearm back of the forearm like this now what I didn't like I, I like the bull whip it is a really cool feature to have but the piece the mount that goes back onto it is not tight in there whatsoever it is not tight so if you if you were to keep wiggling it around it will fall off and it has fallen off a couple times as I left it on the stand but it's not it's not something that will absolutely derail you from getting this kit and of course we get the shield right here now this kit unlike the other Gundams uh, unlike the other Gunflow I'm sorry doesn't come with some sort of backpack or like a jet booster so his back is actually quite plain as such but again he's pretty mobile in the waist he could lean left he could lean right um, I think it's pretty cool it gives you a, a great variety for making poses now on his back this is his sword mount and if we get the sword right here it just goes right up in there as such and again you could take out the mount because it is interchangeable and then if you wanted to for an example put in his little AK looking mount you may do so just put it in and it's in the shape of a T believe it or not and boom there it is you can take it out and that's how it is on the side of his leg sort of like Robocop how he keeps his uh, how he keeps his pistols on his legs this guy he keeps his knife he keeps his little knife uh, the sheath at his side and this is built into two pieces uh, the front part or the more like the left and right excuse me and this is interchangeable to any side you want this side or you can make it interchangeable to this side now looking at his legs, his legs are pretty interesting in my opinion because the kneecaps aren't as big as the other Gunpla. I mean this is a, after all a different TV show, a different mecha series. But this is how far his, he can bend his legs, not as great. But because his skirt is non-existent, he could pretty much, there you go, I mean there you go. Like look how high he could just dive bomb himself or cannonball. His ankles are on a ball joint too and sort of similar to the uh, the joint pieces up in his shoulder you get sort of get like the same feature with the ankles because the cover sheet of the ankle right here this piece in my right hand it comes off very easily and technically I don't think it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to catch in that one PC cap right there but I don't want to push it too hard and if you apply just even a little force it will come off the back of his uh, his back of his heels also has some sort of mechanism that just goes up and down not really sure what that's for but uh, yeah it's a feature that's pretty minuscule I, I wouldn't brag about that and go home but yeah his feet's pretty small compared to the rest of the body and this is where the other two stickers go they went to the back of his um, calves which is a strange location to put right there Overall, again, I think this is a very detailed kit. I, I just like the way the plastic feels. It feels more sleek, I guess that's the word I'm looking for, compared to the Gunpla. And plus, because his joints, the connectors in his arms and his limbs, like his legs, they're all on a ball joint. He doesn't have a skirt, so he's pretty much like the most flexible kit I have built uh, for probably this entire year. I really like the weapon systems, the bullwhip, his main battle, his main battle rifle. I like the sheets. I like the, like the little machine guns. 
and even the broadsword, which I think is so cool to have. He has like little dents and rivets in his chest, like in his front part of his chest and his shoulders, which is really cool. Unfortunately, again, he doesn't have a backpack. He doesn't have a jet booster or anything like that. And I really like his helmet. It makes him look like a hawk or some sort of predator animal. Again, if it was me, I would rather forego the sticker as E, like the visor. I would rather, I would strongly prefer that to be a transparent piece to include the yellow stickers at the side. But they do give a good contrast considering how dark this color is. Uh, at least the dark the body is in terms of everything else. So it is a good contrast. Overall, I would highly recommend getting this kit. It is on the high side for a Gunpla, or at least for a high grade size. Uh, I think you can get this kit around like $25 depending on where you search for online. I got this kit when it was, I think, on sale. So I think I brought it around for like $25, maybe even $23. I'm not even sure anymore. Um, but yeah, I think anyone who purchased this kit will be very satisfied. It will be a little bit annoying because the runners repeat itself so often. So like a pair of A's, a pair of B's, a pair of C's, a pair of D's, and so on and so forth. But uh, it's, not a, it's not a showstopper. It's pretty cool. It's very detailed. You get a lot of weapon systems. Great color scheme. Awesome for posing. Um, and it'll be a great conversation starter. You look, even here, you can even twist his... He could... Uh, what is it? Abductors and adductors? Pretty much. Look at him. Look at that. But anyway guys, that's all I have for this review video for the Bandai M9 Gernsbach. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down in the section below and I will get right to them. Appreciate you all for watching and I... Can I put him back in the stand? Can I do it? Yes! Oh, he's a little crooked. And I will see you all in the next believe in an unboxing video. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.